Hello and welcome back to Prophet Diary. My name is Tainique. I hope that you guys can hear me over the rain. <laughs> but, you know, it's that time of the year. So the Lord sent me to share a word with you guys. But before I get into that word, I would love for you to get connected to Prophetic Diary. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Keywitnesses.com to sign up for that encouraging coaching call with myself. I would love to take you on as your personal life coach, spiritual life coach. Also, every Sunday, 10 a.m. in the Prophetic Diary. PD Society Circles tomorrow. We're going to be talking about how to prepare for spiritual attacks, right? Be proactive and how to strategize when being attacked. So join us in the PD Society Circle. And don't forget about our single and ready series, March 30th. If you don't want to miss out on that. So the Lord gave me this word this morning, actually, in my prayer time with him. And I just thought it was so good. I kind of was going to take it and run with it for myself, but I felt led to share. So may I? <laughs> We're talking here um, today about the king's return. So as you know, it reads in 2 Samuel 6, 11, it says, so we'll start at 6, 10. And the people are going back and forth and they're like, oh my goodness, you know, we got rid of David and we we chose Absalom to be our king and now Absalom David's son he's died in battle so we don't even have a king we made a silly choice and they say we anointed Absalom to rule over us but he has died in battle so why aren't any of you talking about bringing the king back so now all of a sudden they want the king back now all of a sudden they remember it says he saved us from the power of our enemies. Now they're remembering all that David had done for them. Now all of a sudden he was special again. And they're arguing. The Bible says they was arguing amongst each other. Like, why aren't we talking about bringing David back? You know, there's always that one that come to their senses and be like, wait, hold on. Why do we ever come against her? Why do we ever decide that Absalom was a better choice why did I ever get involved with these other people and get rid of that person who was a true friend who truly loved you, me who really saw me why did I choose to step out on my wife or on this man or woman that for what like was it worth it what are we thinking and they were arguing amongst each other so i came here to let you know that all of your good deeds were not in vain and that you did nothing wrong actually you did too much right and you were too good to be true and god also said to me this morning he said london bridges and you know that child song that kid song london bridges falling down fall it's falling down the London bridges are falling down in their lives. And now they're like, well, who was the one that always helped us piece it together? Who was the one that was always there? Who was the one that always cared? Oh, yeah, David. Oh, yeah, you. You were the one. So I said that you're the king that's coming back or your king is coming back. Listen, this word was so good. I was like, God, thank you so much. Because I know a lot of people be thinking like, is it was it all in vain? Like, I know David was like, all that I've done for this kingdom, like this relationship, this job, this friendship, and all y'all got. And now all of a sudden they say the king is coming back. So I want you guys to read that scripture. I'm actually going to go live and we're going to deep dig in, deep deeper and dive into this. And uh, the king is back. The king is back. You back. They better get ready for your comeback. Oh, they awoke. They waking up. They waking up. Share this video with a friend. Like, subscribe, comment. Hope to see you tomorrow on the PD Society Circle. If you felt led to someone to this word, hashtag, I'm back. I'm back.